Hello again, welcome to the tutorial for the Happy Days lined peg bag pattern. Um, this is one that I've already completed. I did do a tutorial for it, but it wasn't all put together. So I've, um, I'm have i going to redo it and so that you've got a whole one that you can see. So this is the one that I made prior to it. I'm just going to put that to one side and show you the pieces that you need to cut out. So we need two pieces of fabric. We need um, our lining fabric and we need our main outer fabric. Okay, so out of the lining fabric, you should have three pieces. The front bottom pocket, the uh, front top piece, and then the main um, back piece in your lining. And then you're going to have exactly the same in your pattern fabric. So there's the bottom part. There's the oh, top part. And this is your back piece of fabric. Okay, so you should have six pieces of fabric cut out all together. Now we're just going to discard those ones. We're going to start with just our top pieces. So our top lining piece and our top outer piece. Okay, so lay um, your outer fabric pretty sides facing up. And then you're going to lay your lining piece pretty sides facing down, okay? So, pretty sides to pretty sides. So you should be looking at the wrong side of the fabric as you look at it. And what we're going to do is we're going to, where this arched edge is, we're going to clip along this edge. Ooh. Again, if you've seen my other videos, just ignore my pretty different colour fingernails that my granddaughter kindly did for me. Okay, so we are, we've pinned along this, we put our, we've laid our top pieces down, pretty side to pretty side, touching, we've lined it all up, pinned along, and now we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew just along this arch. We are not going to sew this part here, and we're not going to sew this part here or any of the rest of it. Literally just this arch. So start from about here and sew right the way along till you get to that end there. So I'm back from sewing along my curved edge. And just to help it may lay a little bit flat, if you take a pair of scissors and just snip up to not make sure you don't snip into your stitches just make little tiny cuts along it just helps the fabric to um curve okay it just gives it that little bit extra all right so clip around once you've done that turn it into the right way so you can see both your pretty sides and then lay it down flat and give it a nice press with your iron. Okay, so you get this nice crisp edge. I've already done that part, as you can see. All right, so I've got a nice crisp edge to my fabric. Okay, and this part we're just going to put to the side for the moment. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bottom lining fabric. Okay, so the bottom like pocket part. We're going to lay it down right sides facing up so pretty sides upwards okay and we're then going to take our piece that we've just sewn and we're going to lay it so that the lining fabric color is touching the lining fabric color all right and we're just going to line it up so that it sits edge of that onto there edge of that onto there okay so you can see the way that curve is there so you want these small edges bits with the top edge of the bottom of your bag make sure you've got your bag bottom the right way up so the widest bit needs to be at the top the narrowest bit at the bottom okay so you're just going to line that up lining pieces touch lining pieces okay and then you're going to take your um other 
bottom piece, your outer fabric, and you're going to lay this right sides down, straight on top of it. Okay, so you've made a kind of sandwich. So you've got your outer fabric, pretty sides touching the pretty sides of your um, top of your bag of your peg bag, and then the lining fabrics, pretty sides touching pretty sides. Okay, so you're just going to line this up carefully along this edge. Make sure your side edges line up as well. And you're going to clip right the way along. Sorry. Try not to get in the camera, but I always do. I do apologise. Right, okay, so I've clipped along that top edge. And I'm now going to stitch right the way along here. OK, making sure that I catch these bits in from the top of my top of the peg bag that I've already sewn. So I'm going to stitch right the way, right the way along here. OK. So I'm back from sewing along this edge and I'm just literally going to flip it out now so that because um, it's the front of our peg bag done. So as you can see, as I flip it there. You can see that that's the front part. So just grab it there, turn it around, and then go to the ironing board and give it a nice press down so that um, you've got a nice crisp edge along here. Okay, so that's the front part of your peg bag completed. Leave it laying on your work surface like that. And then you're going to take, so you want the pretty sides, uh, the front pretty sides facing upwards, okay, lining facing downwards. Take your outer, your back outer fabric and you're going to lay it so that the pretty side is touching the pretty side, okay? So pretty side touching pretty side. So you should be looking at the wrong side of your big outer back piece of fabric. So you're going to lay that down on top. Then you're going to take your lining piece your, uh, for your back and you're going to lay this right sides up. Okay, so there's the wrong side, should be touching the wrong side of the fabric. You're going to lay that down on top of that. So you end up with a sandwich. Okay, so you've got the front of your bag that you've completed with the lining at the back face upwards. The pretty side, outer side of the fabric, face down, so pretty sides touching pretty sides. And then your lining piece, your main lining piece, wrong sides touching wrong sides and should be facing, the pretty sides should be facing up. And what you're going to do is you're just going to clip all the way around this. Make sure you line up all those edges. Going to clip round it and at the top here as well. I'm just going to grab one more clip. Okay, now we are going to sew right the way around this bag, but we need to leave an opening to put our coat hanger through. Okay, so at this top part here, just leave like a two centimeter opening there. Okay, so you're going to stitch. So start here, back stitch. So right the way along, down, along this edge, up this edge, up to here to where our line is. Hopefully you can see those lines clearly. And you're going to back stitch here as well because you want this to stay secure. All right, and you're going to leave this open because you're going to put your coat hanger through there. Now, don't worry that that's going to show or come undone. Once you've got your coat hanger in, you can just push your fabric back inside. It will stay nice and tight because you've got the top of the hanger there. And then you're going to put a ribbon there anyway, so you won't see it. All right, so just one more time. So we start with this bit here. We sew right the way, back stitch to secure it. So right the way along here, right the way down here, along the bottom, up the side, and then back up to this other mark here and back stitch here again. So there you go. I'm back from stitching right the way around the edge and I have left my little gap at the top there because that's where the coat hanger is going to go. And I like to just trim my corners off because it just helps give it a little bit of a sharper 
corner so I just cut it you see that on the diagonal with sharper scissors might help okay just going to give that a little bit of a cut in there as well and on this one okay so I've just trimmed those corners and now I'm going to turn my bag the right way so if I flip it over you can see um, the opening so we're just going to turn it in the right way round push all those edges out I'm going to use my purple thing if you've watched any of my other video tutorials you'll know that I absolutely love this tool they're really cheap they're about I don't know, five pound for five of them on Amazon or something, but they're great for turning and poking and um, getting nice sharp edges when you uh, turn. So we're going to push that up there. Push that right out. And there you go. There's your completed peg bag. Okay, so you've got your hole there in the top, you can see. So when you put your coat hanger through, if need be, just push the fabric back down in if it pushes it out, but it should be okay. Then you're gonna put a nice ribbon around the top of the coat hanger, which I'm sure you'll see on lots of the photos. And there you go, there's your completed lined peg bag.